Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to this Monday morning with Business Coach Malloy. I uh, hope you guys have been having a fantastic month of January and a happy Sankranti to all my friends all over the country, especially from down south and east, where we celebrate Sankranti in, a, in great fervor. And uh, also, I understand today's Pongal. So, happy Pongal to all of you out there. So, we have been in the series uh, of five. The power of five, where we have been talking about five elements that you should know or do not, or you should not do when you are in the in the space of developing an entrepreneurship. And uh, I was in Calcutta last week, and somebody and we were having a conversation, and all of a sudden I asked you, "Are you running your business or are you driving your business?" And there's a huge difference between running your business and driving your business because if you're running your business, it runs. It runs on its own. You don't have to do too much except do the administrative monitoring piece. But if you're driving your business, you should have now a detailed plan and a monitoring mechanism on how to take it to the next level. So today, uh, so okay, last week we spoke about the five things that you should be doing or you should be focusing in while you are doing your market mapping slash market segmentation. Today, I'm going to talk about the five mistakes that you should not be doing when you're doing your market mapping or market segmentation. And the first thing is relying on that obvious. Please understand market segmentation is an ongoing activity. Market mapping is an ongoing activity. The more market intelligence that you have, the more you'll be able to drive your market into a different, your business into a different level. So first is relying on the obvious. Too many companies get stuck in looking at the demographics and the stated needs and the purchase behavior. We assume a lot of things and we see what we want to see. If you truly want to do a market mapping exercise or a market segmentation exercise, look beyond the obvious. Look at what is not visible for you, which would mean digging deep. You have to dig deep into figuring out what is what is happening in the market. What are the changes that are happening in the marketplace? Too many of us are focusing our entire activity on the same set of data points that we have. So which takes me to the, uh, to the next uh, step, which is referencing the old when everything else is new. There was a time, uh, when, and because I come from a teaching background as well, and I come from a large uh, and from a, from a corporate background as well. We were told to make five year business plans. Post COVID or COVID has taught us that the five year or a three year business plan is pass. It doesn't work anymore. You have a five year vision, but you should have a one year business plan. In the last three to five years, especially after COVID, a lot of organizations have gone through uh, gone through uh, turmoil and changes. What was a template for success a few years back is no longer the template for success today. Customer buying behaviors have changed. Applications have changed. People have changed. Buying behavior has changed. When everything else has changed, how can we rely on the data or the data points which existed about three years back? So mistake number two, stop referencing the old and when everything else is new. The world is looking at new things. So once in a while, stop. Once in a while, just stop and ask yourself, am I truly looking at everything that is new? Third, completely ignoring unknown audiences. Newer applications are coming up. Newer market segments are coming up. If you are in the business of maybe uh, clothing, for example. The buying behavior has changed. You have to look at all those new audiences that exist. So this is what we call the zero level market segmentation. Step back and ask yourself, I was doing all this, all this while, how can we look at some a different market segment? Again, COVID has taught us multiple things. If Organizations like a Swiggy or a Zomato can reinvent themselves. Or organizations like Barbecue Nation 
where the entire concept was going and enjoying a meal in the restaurant. Now they are talking in terms of going and catering to different, uh, uh, the home delivery piece, which for kebabs and other stuff for barbecue nation, hardly, ex hardly existed. So stop looking at the, the visible market segments and look at the invisible market segments. Look at your non-customers. Who are, what is the every opportunity of going out and selling to them? As a business coaching firm, we were firmly entrenched in the small and medium businesses. But there's a huge scope of a certain amount of programmatic coaching, a sales coaching or a marketing coaching or a financial coaching that exists in the large corporate space, which we've ignored so far. But that exists. So there are multiple opportunities that are there which exists in today's world where you can go out and start selling your product. Number four, confirmation biases is what I call it. It's easy to prove something that I already have in my mind. Confirmation bias seeks to confirm the preconceived opinion. We all of us have preconceived opinion. So the confirmation biases stops us from looking at something new. Like Stephen Hawking said, the greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance. It is the illusion of knowledge. We seem to have all the knowledge, but it seems it does not, uh, it ends there. So sometimes paying too much attention to what might, what might go wrong and not using the knowledge is something that you should be focusing on. And number five, one day you stand up and say, segmentation is done, its segmentation is complete, now we can move ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest mistake that you can ever do is segmentation is complete. Segmentation or market mapping is not complete. Market mapping and segmentation changes very frequently. Look at your data points, look at the frequency, step back at least if not once in six months, at least once in a year and say, let's relook at that market. And ask yourself this question, which of the products that you were once your cash cows is no longer going to be your cash cow? Which are the markets that have opened up, which you now need to come and bring in some innovations within the periphery of your products? Never ever say your segmentation is complete for the next few years. Segmentation is ongoing. Market mapping is ongoing you have to constantly focus on this product. I made the statement to somebody the other day. They have about 700 employees and there are 12 people who are part of the leadership team. If the 12 people are going to do the job of the 700 people, who's going to focus on the strategy? You need to move away from the in on the business to the to on the business from in the business and hence you need to spend time with yourself with your leadership team with your family members who's involved in the business to ask yourself this question which new markets should we target in the next year or so thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen so next week we come back with another uh, episode of the power of five where we talk in terms of the five things that you need to do in marketing which will enable you to take your business to the next level. So till next time, same place, same time, I will see you with the five things that you should be doing with your marketing. Have a fantastic Monday, have a fantastic week, and God bless.